Um, I do have muscle cars. I got a. Uh, that's whew. what I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, talking. Let me see. I have two '69 Chevelles. I have oh, one that's a Restomod okay. and one that's all original. Um, mm. I have uh, two Camaros. I have one that's a Restomod of '69 and another '69 that's all original. So yeah. I got one and one. Um, I got a 1964. Yeah, there it is. I have a 1964 uh, Impala that's actually stock. So I didn't I didn't low rider it out because oh, everybody wow. thought I was gonna do that. Um, That's I, a beautiful year. That sixty nine, yeah. sixty nine Chevelles are gorgeous. Look at that. Is that the rest of mine or is that the original? No, that's the, uh, original. That's the original. It's got all the paperwork. I actually wow. got that one at the uh, Barrett Jackson car auction. Oh yeah, it does. So three ninety six. That's the same one from John Wick. And then uh, no, I he has a seventy. I have a, <clears throat> a, a black Chevelle uh, that I call Cocaine Bear because uh, man, that thing is just obnoxious. <laughs> It is loud. It's powerful. <laughs> it rattles. The whole neighborhood hears it. That's and when 69 you've done too? It, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's badass. Um, so, I mean, it's not that I'm just <clears throat> strictly Volkswagen. I get but it. That's, that's how it started. And the beauty of it is I have people that are constantly sending me pictures. Hey, my, my friend is selling this. My friend is selling that. So yeah, what is uh, that? That is a Camaro that they converted into a Firebird? Is that I, what it is? I no longer have that one, but I do have a 1979 Trans Am. Oh, the real um, one. The real one. Yeah, this but, one. This one's a. Uh, uh, you know, there was a company. There's a company called Trans Am Depot in Florida, and they will take a Camaro and then they'll turn it into a Trans Am. And it, it has the Pontiac logo and everything, huh? Yeah. Now that's the one I still have right there. It's blue. It's beautiful. Oh wow! Look at that pretty thing. Trans Ams are gorgeous. It's it's long too. God. The whole hood is really really long. Does anybody it's, ever make a Trans Am that's like that is like a really solid driving car though? Has anybody done like a wild resto mod with like a custom chassis? I mean, they must have. I've I've never driven one or seen one, uh, and all the Trans Ams I've been in have always been manual. No, I mean uh, stock. I mean, uh, like th th whether or not they're you know they change the suspension. Manual transmission is the way to go with a car like that always. But I mean, it, d has anybody done like a real resto mod with a Trans Am? They must have. You never see them though. You see them more like kind of in stock form. Yeah, I mean, they try to keep it looking yeah. like it, you know, they wanted to have that look. But anyway, yeah, so I, there's, there's, I have a bunch of muscle cars, but people know me as the Volkswagen bus guy. What does it say there, Jamie, at the top? Yeah, Trans Am gets a stunning rest of overhaul from Retro Designs. Okay, so this one they did. Yeah, there they go. They jazzed up the engine. That's pretty. Yeah. Still got skinny ass tires. Take that photo of the back of it, the one that shows the back right there. Yeah. Look how skinny those tires. Oh, they're not that bad. Yeah, a little bit better. Not that bad. But yeah. 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 So, you know, on top of the Volkswagens, I do got a, a, you know, the muscle car collection, which is nice. Dude, there's nothing like muscle cars. They're, they're, there's something about those things. Like, whatever they were doing in that time period from the late 60s to the early 70s. Whatever they're doing, and they stop doing it. Yeah, so. it's it's very different. And, yeah, and uh, I have some friends that are purists when it comes to muscle cars, so they want to keep it stock, keep it the way that it was. I don't get those. And people. then there's some that I'm like, you know, dude, there's nothing wrong with putting an air conditioner in a car. There's nothing wrong with you know adding. How about putting brakes feature. that work? Thank you. What the fuck are you doing? Like the, all that yeah. numbers matching? I get yeah. it, but that's not for me. I get it that people want to collect them, numbers matching, but it's just for them. It's like they say to the other num numbers matching guys, and everybody's like, mm, numbers matching. But uh, yeah, there's there's more people that just want to enjoy the car, have fun with the car, and they could care less what the numbers, you know. You want to not be sucking gas fumes through the exhaust. <laughs> like, how bad do some of those yeah. smell? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. 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 You, 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 <clears throat> when you have a car that's uh, it's over 40 years old, yeah. you get used to the smell of gas. Yeah, they stink of gas. And then but you think at first, uh, it's leaking. And no, it's not. That's just the way that the car smelled back then. Yeah, you're breathing in fumes. You're getting a headache. You, you smell the oil, yeah. you smell the gas. But resto mods don't. Like resto mods, like what I was showing you, the uh, the Land Cruiser, when they use a, a modern crate engine, they can just change it completely. Yeah, so it looks yeah. original, yeah. but it drives, it, it handles like a modern car. That's what I like. I, uh, I just like the the there's the character of those cars that's undeniable. Like if they made one today like that, I would say uh, I would want to buy one. Like if they made a resto, like if 
they can't do it, which is kind of crazy. Because like you could buy one from a company like Roadster Shop. They made me a 1969 Camaro. But you can't buy a 1969 Camaro from Chevy. Like if Chevy said, look, <clears throat> we're going to make a 1969 Camaro. It's not going to have any airbags. It's going to have disc brakes, but like, you know, six piston disc brakes. And we're going to do a modernized suspension, but it's going to be a 1969 Camaro. But mm -hmm. it's going to be a 1969 Camaro with a 2023 Camaro engine and all the electronics and all that jazz. People would buy it like crazy, but you could never get away with it because regulations would, wouldn't allow it. Yeah. And then uh, living in California, all these co man, you know how hard it is with the getting smogged. Yeah. yeah. So all yeah. my cars are 1974 and below. Yeah. Just because I don't want to deal. Yeah, that's I, good. I don't want to deal. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that funny? Like as long as they're old, they can just pollute like crazy. <laughs> yeah. You know. <laughs> I just think it's interesting that you know uh, as time goes by, they don't move the they don't move the needle. Like right. they still keep it at 1974. It's like come on. Well. Yeah, I think that's because it's almost impossible. Like, if you want to get, like, a 1974 uh, Porsche and you want to convert it to modern standards of exhaust, I wonder what they would even have to do. It might ruin the car. Yeah, you're gonna, it's going to take away from the originality of it, but is it going to make it a better driver? Are you going to have more fun with it? You yeah, know? I don't think so. I've, I mean, I've... I think they would have to, like, I know they do resto mods with those old Porsches, but I think they just take everything out and put all modern shit in. You know, they just kind of re but even then, I think it's still held to the same standard of a 1974 car. Like as long as it's, you know, like the, the exact, the, you know, they, the yeah. VIN number and everything is from that age. Even that's you're kind of lying. It's kind of not really a 1974 not, car. Yeah. You know, it's really a 2023 car. Mm -hmm. Like if you had a 74 Porsche built by some madman who like made you this wicked air cooled engine, and so you're driving around a 1974 car that's got all brand new parts. Yeah, but they're still going to hold you to the rules. Yeah. I uh, I did do a, with one of my Volkswagens, I actually uh, did a, a, it's called a Subaru swap. So I took out the engine from uh, the Volkswagen and I put in a Subaru turbo engine in it. Oh, Jesus. Because it, it fit perfectly. Oh, wow. And so now that car is like, it it's fast. It is super fast and it's quiet. I saw a video online. See if you can find this. It was a Ford, an old Ford Econoline van that they put a supercharged Coyote engine in. Oh, wow. So it's this, those ones where your face is like right at the windshield. You ever see those? Yeah. It's like such a flat faced, weird thing. But he's got this crazy fucking supercharged Coyote Mustang engine in it. It's just wah, bah, with the, an Econo line. Yeah, so some of these uh, modifications, they don't really, you know, they're not worried about the height or, uh, you know, it, it, you got to put everything else in there to match so that yeah. it can handle right. They're doing it just for funsies. Like, mm -hmm. Nobody really needs an Econo yeah, line nobody needs a supercharged <laughs> fucking Coyote engine.